Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jay Rum, and today we're checking out Tech Smith's Camtasia Studio. So, Camtasia is a screen recording software, and whether you want to do tutorials for, you know, Photoshop, Pro Tools, or if you're into video games a lot and you capture, uh, you know, some montages that you want to create and some cool no scopes and stuff, you know, you're playing Call of Duty or Minecraft or whatnot, you can do screencasts and take these and have you know your own montages or if you want to do tutorials for Photoshop or After Effects you can use Camtasia to achieve this and first off let me say huge thank you and shout out to TechSmith I used their demo of Camtasia and I was really impressed and it did exactly what I needed it to do they were more than helpful for any tips and extended trial periods I'm like so impressed with the professionalism and help from this company it really makes me appreciate them and it it kind of reminds me of like a small business you know like a mom and pop store they're you know they're always helpful and just amazing dude i was very impressed and super grateful because they not only helped me get an extended trial period to continue testing their product they actually emailed me and compensated me a key so not only do i get to do more tutorials for you guys but I think I'm going to do a contest and the winner is actually going to win a version of Camtasia, full version for Mac or PC. I'm still in talks with TechSmith, but we are going to do this. So make sure when you see the contest come up, subscribe to my channel so you'll know. Long story short, thank you TechSmith and let's get on with this tutorial. <laughs> All right, guys, check this out. So we're in FL Studio. And let's say you want to record your own tutorial in FL Studio with Camtasia. How are you going to do it? First of all, you're going to pull up Camtasia and you're going to click the record the screen. Now, obviously, I'm already recording right now. So this screen is going to pop up right here. You're going to have a record button and a set size, like how big of the screen do you want to record? Full screen, just a small part, you get to choose. So after you do that, it's going to have a countdown and you're going to have options you can record through a webcam mic you can record your system audio which is really what I needed it for but it didn't work out for me so if you're using an audio interface this might help you out when you want to record your system audio head into options audio settings and you'll see right here I have my fast track C600 ASIO I used to have to choose primary sound driver, but my sound quality would would be extremely lowered and it just didn't sound how I wanted it to. So I have Edison open right here and a while back somebody suggested I use Edison and record into it. And I was like, well, how would that work? And I learned and basically when I record, you'll see right here, this is mine. I click now and then hit record and it starts automatically. Now, please be aware, this window with five in it, that's minutes. So this is only we're going to record five minutes. I have mine set to 15 because, unfortunately, I recorded a lot of tutorials and didn't realize this. So 15-minute tutorials got overlapped. So my audio would get overlapped, but my video would still be 15 minutes. So make sure you set this to, I'd say, more than what you think your tutorial is gonna last so mine's 15 minutes it shouldn't be a 15 minute tutorial so you click now and you click record I do this simultaneously when I hit this it'll be record not stop and it'll have a countdown three two one and then I hit them at the same time bam audio starts in it starts jumping so I'm gonna bring this back in real quick and as you see it's recording the kick and my vocals when I did this before, this wasn't happening because I wasn't using Edison. So this is a great way to get audio and your voice together. So let's say you're done, you recorded it, you had an awesome, awesome tutorial and beat making video or something, and now you want to start getting it into Camtasia. After you hit stop, you're going to get an option and it's going to say publish or it'll say save and edit delete or another option and I can't remember right now and I can't do it because if I do then this will stop it'll bring up this window and you save it I'm gonna try to load in something real quick so you guys can see what it would look like 
this is my Isotope Trash 2 review uh, recording. So this is what you would get. And when you drag it down here, set my aspect, let's just say um, that's cool and that's what I want. Basically, you're going to get the top screen recording and the system audio recording. Now, if you're not using an audio interface like me and you can get system audio regular, then you would use this track. But I don't. This track that says screen that you see the audio waves, this isn't the audio that we're going to be using. So highlight this blue. That way you know it's highlighted. Click audio and silence it. What that does is it mutes everything. Now you're probably like, what are you doing, Jay Roman? It doesn't make sense. Well, when your audio gets stopped in here, and make sure you press stop after you finish recording this also, you're going to get a chance. All this will be red and highlighted. For example, let me just do this real quick. Hopefully this, no, I'm not going to do it because it might mess up my original Edison. But you're going to get a red highlight of all your audio. You're going to click this right here and then save as. And then you'll head back in here, and you, you'll see right here I have um, Trash 2 Audio. Now that's my audio wave from Edison. Double click it. It comes in the pop-up window in the left hand. Drag this down. Drop on a new channel. Now you want to line up this audio. So I jumped a little ahead of myself. Click your screen track. Click audio. Turn it up. So... You want to come in and you want to line up your audio. Now it looks like I can't line this up. So we're going to take a little bit from the beginning. Slide it back until you think it's even. Hit play. If it sounds good, then come back to this track and silence it. And then you'll have your Edison track with your audio, system audio, and your voice on this. And then you can go in and edit from there. I'll have some more tips about how to edit and have some you know effects and stuff but now this is my personal preference like I said the system audio might record already for you so this is only my issue so this is my little hack around it so thanks to everybody for watching this I hope this helped stay tuned for the Camtasia contest it's coming soon you win a free copy and stay tuned for more tutorials like this video subscribe guys we'll see you next time